All right, uh, welcome back. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Figma and we're gonna export all those assets uh, from the design we were just looking at. So um, I had to use Figma for this project because uh, Sketch doesn't run on PCs and all I had to do was upload the sketch file, dragged it and dropped it into Figma and everything loaded up. I had to sync my local fonts, which took like 10 to 20 seconds maybe. Um, it was mainly me just trying to find the fonts locally. And then as soon as that was synced up, uh, everything just worked. It just worked seamlessly. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna be exporting assets from Figma and then uh, putting those into Webflow. So let's get started. Um, and I switched over to a different camera here. <laughs> this is fun. So within Figma, you can you know select each of the different layers and give them names. So uh, we've got the Aviation American Gen logo here. It looks like that has that name. And on the right side, if you scroll down this this panel, you can export assets and you can set what kind of uh, asset you want to export. So I usually go with SVGs when it comes to logos. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. Here's a little preview. Oh, it's so cool. So yeah, you can see what the asset will look like when you've done the, the export. So let's go ahead and see if I just export this. Cool. Okay, it went straight there. I'm gonna make a folder over on my desktop just so that we can move all this over instead of keeping it directly at the bottom part. Uh, cool, let me do that real quick. It's so interesting working on a PC compared to a Mac. Okay, so I'm just creating that folder and I'm gonna drag this image into there, cool. Uh, so then next up, we've got this uh, section over here, which I, I gave a name of Ryan Aviation, but you can double click into that and call that like hero section, right side image. Uh, you can call it whatever you want to. Um, but then on the right side here, we're gonna export that uh, as a JPEG. And we wanted to add two times the size. And it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of like filters on there. I don't think there are. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so we'll just export that. And drag that in here. Oh, that's huge. 859 kilobytes. So I'm gonna resize that. Let's just go with just, let's do one times. Um, export that, let's see. Okay, that's only 300 kilobytes. Still pretty big, but you know, that'll work. Uh, want that image to look nice and crisp. Um, we can probably get that file size down quite a bit. Um, cool. So I'm just renaming some files over here. Cool, there we go. Um, and then next up, we've got this like background section uh, for the small batch. Uh, let's take a look. So we just want that background layer here. And let's rename this. So uh, let's call this airplane small batch background. Ground. And let's see, let me export that. Hmm. Not seeing anything within the preview. Ah, okay. Because it's a, I think the plane is just a PNG, maybe? Oh, wow. Jeff put a whole mask over this. Okay, that's so cool. Um, okay, we'll just export the airplane. So, airplane. Um, cool, let's export this as. Okay, so it looks like. He has it as like more of a transparent um, PNG, but if we make it as like a, we could do a JPEG, which should be a lighter file size. Um, or we could do the PNG with 2x. Let's see how big that is. Let's see how big is that file? That's 400 kilobytes. So we're gonna have to go, let's go with JPEG. And that'll just give it that white background. Yeah, it's only, 130 kilobytes. So yeah, we'll go with the JPEG format on that one. 
So it's going to be a background image that sits on like this white section. Uh, next up, we've got like this little distilling image here. Just double clicking into that. Um, cool. Let's call this the production. Cool. Export that as a JPEG. 2x. It's funny. Export the production. That's oh, a really big file size. 468 kilobytes. Um, might keep some of these at like one exercise. size. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, because that's only 182 kilobytes. I, I usually try to keep images under 250 kilobytes just for those page load speeds. Um, here's another one of those logos. Um, it looks like Jeff has a mask on it. Um, let's see if we go to export this. Okay, so there it's like a PNG. Let's see, as an SVG? It's not gonna, what kind of file size we're looking at. Oh yeah, that should work. Cool, I export that. Um, then we've got each of these images here. So I'm gonna name these based upon the, the image name. So this is like Tom Collins and export. JPEG. JPEGs are typically lighter than PNGs. Cool. Negroni upgrade. Negroni upgrade. Cool. There we go. Lovely. Bees knees. It's a fun one. Sounds really refreshing. And you'll, you'll notice that I don't have any uh, spaces in the file names. Um, that, that is on purpose. Uh, usually spaces, they end up rendering as like a percentage 20 and some uh, browsers struggle rendering those. But I mean, we automatically take care of that in Webflow, but it's you know, sometimes just helpful to, to do that. Oh, I didn't realize, hmm. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, we're not exporting this like view part of the text there. So that okay, cool. Uh, okay, the Amelia Earhart. I want to say that has a D in it, but I can't remember. Cool. Let's go ahead and export that JPEG. Awesome. And we just have a few more items to export. So this background image, the old Tom. Let's see, it looks like he's got, hmm. okay, it looks like it's just this right here. Call this old Tom background. And export that as JPEG. Cool. Get that exported. That one's pretty heavy, but That'll be fine. Um, let's see what else we have. We have some of these tiny icons. I want to export each of those. So this one is Twitter, Google, and Facebook. And each of these, oh, whoa. I want as SVGs. And I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. Oh, uh, I don't want that background really. Hmm. What happens if I just turn that off? What's that look like? Still showing up. Oh, this is interesting how those get out. I don't know what each of these do. I just know that I want like this shape here. Let's see if we just export just that shape. Okay, yeah, that's all I want is the actual icon itself. Um, and exporting that as an SVG. And that's gonna be Twitter. Exporting Twitter. Huh, I don't know. Pardon, stomach 
is growling there. I wonder why it's exporting as a zip file now. That is, that is interesting. Oh, it's because it's an entire folder, I guess. That's that's interesting. Well, um, I guess let's do that for each of these. Um, cool. Yeah, let's just get this Google one. Google. Facebook one. Facebook. And export that as an SVG. It might be because of like all the fill settings and everything. Um, so much goes into like, crafting these. It's it's pretty insane. Um, like crafting this like static mockup and making everything just like look good. Mad, mad props to you. Jeff for building this out. Oh, I forgot Google. Ah, did I get Facebook? Ah, oh, Facebook's the one I'm missing. Cool. Okay, so I've imported that over. Okay, so the page one is, is that done? Is that it? Uh, there's these little arrows over here. Let's get this arrow. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice arrow. Let's call this right arrow. And get an SVG. I wonder why these icons are exporting like that. Like none of the other ones are doing that. So. It's always interesting, like learning all these different um, finicky things about each different design tool. Um, let's take a look. Any other images? Uh, this little arrow over here. Cool. Okay, he's got it, like as an entire like yellow icon here. Um, usually I like exporting these and I'll like build this as a div because then you can animate that little arrow inside of there. Um, so I just want the, the actual icon. Um, yeah, the little triangle icon. Yeah. Here we go. It's a JPEG. Or no, not JPEG, SVG. <laughs> and got that exported. Gonna drag that in here and rename it. I forgot to rename it before it exported. Right arrow triangle. Cool. Named it. Go. Right, I've got that airplane, got this. Um, we'll need to style out these little bubbles here. Okay, now let's move on over to the next one. And some of these are going to be, you know, we already have them. Some of them we won't have. Okay, here's that bottle. Um, let's call this an aviation bottle. This is probably going to be our heaviest image asset. Um, so my guess is it's going to be a PNG. Yeah, let's see how, how big is that sucker. Oh, it's wrong. It's only 125 kilobytes. It's awesome. We already have these little icons. Uh, now we need to get these background elements, so like this little lemon piece here. Um, it's interesting. That's a bitmap. Okay, so let's call this like lemon. And I guess yeah, that one. Let's call some herbs. And export these as. So I guess they can be PNGs. A 2x PNG. How, how big is that file size? Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's only 41 kilobytes. See, so I'm very like file size cognizant whenever I'm exporting each of these assets. Cool. Got 
the lemon. Boom. Nice. Okay, now we got this image here. And I want to make sure I don't want the icon in there right now when I'm exporting it. Um, let's call this the production v2. And export this as a JPEG. Maybe eat something soon. Cool. And I wonder if these have like a hue saturation type like overlay or something going on. I don't know. It's so much fun like trying to figure out <laughs> what all these different layers do. Um, always trying to figure that out. Um, might come back. Or, no, we can just export it so we have these assets in the site. Um, come here, let's do that. So this one's Tom Collins too. It's two. Ah, so it's exporting in color over here. So we'll use some CSS to like change the hue transition and stuff on that later. Um, cool. JPEG. knees see that 10 times fast oh that one is actually well I don't know if there's any color in that photo technically rename that one these knees v2 cool beans uh, then we need this image back here and this is like old Tom background V2. What's that export look like? Okay, cool. It's a JPEG. Boom. And we've already got that built up. Okay, so there we have it. Um, all the images have been exported. Um, and now we're going to move on to the next part of starting up that Webflow project.